Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about how it has all been confirmed now the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be playing the LA Rams in the divisional round, but I am not alone in this video today. Joining me, as they have done with many other videos here on the channel, is Rhett and Evan of the Cannon Fire Podcast. So boys, I want your guys' opinions on this. Rhett, we are going to start with you, and then we're going to toss it to Evan. Thoughts on the Bucks playing the Rams in the divisional round? Well, I tell you, I, for one, along with probably a lot of other people, are pretty grateful that this matchup is going to be at home. Uh, we know the Bucks have been a different team at home throughout this season. They just handled the Eagles pretty well for, uh, you know, the first playoff game of the year. It, they were basically playing backups in the last quarter of a playoff game, which is, I guess, speaking to how well this team has played at home. But the Rams are that one team that you really wanted to stay away from this postseason. And uh, as fate would have it, that would not be the case for our beloved Buccaneers. But it's a pretty historical matchup, too. And that's pretty exciting for me, because when you talked about the Bucks playing Philly, there's a lot of history between these two teams, especially in the playoffs, right? Like the Rondé Barber pick six, the Bucks' first ever playoff victory. And just like Philly, the same case here with the Rams. A lot of playoff history between these two teams. The Bird Emanuel catch in 1999, that NFC Championship game that unfortunately the Bucks were screwed out of. A lot of people feel the same to this very day. And even all the way back, 1979, after they beat the Eagles in their first ever playoff game, they lost to the LA Rams in the NFC Championship. So safe to say, whenever these two teams play, it's usually a memorable game. And I'm hoping that can be the case this week, but uh, it's gonna be a tough matchup and the Bucs are gonna have to be on their P's and Q's this week. Sure, Evan, what are your thoughts here? Yeah, obviously, you know, I'm gonna echo what Red said, there's a lot of history here. Um, not, not just win the playoffs, but these teams in recent years, uh, th these teams have played each other now three straight years 2019 2020 2021 um, all in the regular season the rams taking two of those matchups while the buccaneers last win was in 2019 um the bucks have struggled against the rams both on offense and on defense it's not just uh one side of the football so they're gonna have to clean up a lot of things uh with the injuries it's gonna be even more of a challenge obviously we don't know the status of uh, some buccaneers players um but yeah really interested to see uh, if the bucks can exercise their demons th this season like they did last year right they had to play the saints to get to the super bowl in this same divisional round so now they get the rams and they have a chance to redeem themselves for their struggles against the Rams earlier on and last season as well. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really interesting, right? Like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers played the Eagles in round one, have a very extensive playoff history with that team. Now they're playing the Rams, much like what both you guys said, another team where they have an extensive amount of playoff history with this team. And, you know, it's kind of funny and ironic in a way because the Rams are in a way the Bucks, uh, you know, this season as to what the Bucks were last year, right? You know, they added a high profile quarterback in Matthew Stafford and everybody started making the comparisons, you know? Oh man, this is just like the Bucks when they added Tom Brady and look what happened. They won a Super Bowl in year number one. Can the Rams do the same thing? And now these two teams are playing each other, right? And we, we talked about this, you know, in a, you know, video that's going to be going up on your guys' channel um, about how this is not a great matchup for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It, it really isn't whenever you look at it, at least on paper, right? The Rams are fantastic at stopping the passing game. The Bucks, that's their main calling card on offense. On the flip side, the, uh, you know, Rams love to pass the football that is the weakest spot in terms of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensively so just any way you slice it any way you look at it it's going to be a tough matchup for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when you also factor in that guys are still hurt like Leonard Fournette Tristan Wirfs obviously we'll get updates with them uh, later on here in the week uh you know, this is going to be a tough matchup. And again, we, we talked about this on your guys' channel. Uh, this is really where the big boys are left in terms of playoff teams, right? I mean, a lot of the wild card games were blowouts. Uh, the Buccaneers, you know, really took care of business against the Eagles. The Rams really took care of uh, business against the Cardinals. So I think that this was a matchup that a lot of people were nervous about happening. And uh, now it's happening. But I do want to say this, and I think all three of us would agree. We felt the same exact way whenever the Bucks played the Saints last year, right? And we saw the outcome of that game. Uh, much like what you said, Evan, this is a very, very similar situation. Almost eerily similar, right? Um, 
Evan, I, I know you you were, uh, you know, very on point whenever uh, we had talked about this again in the video you guys did on your channel whenever you said, you know, hey, there, there are really two teams that have had the Buccaneers number in recent memory. Number one is the Saints. Number two is the Rams. So uh, we'll see if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers can, you know, get this monkey off their back and uh, be able to move on to the NFC Championship game. Um, this will arguably be their toughest matchup of the playoffs, regardless of who they would play uh, in the NFC Championship game. So uh, it's going to be interesting. We'll have to wait and see how everything shakes out before the matchup and uh, take it from there. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts about the Buccaneers officially having to play the LA Rams in the divisional round. We want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Go subscribe to the Cannon Fire podcast if you guys have not already. I will have a link to their channel uh, in the pinned comment comment down in the comment section below. Uh, Rhett, Evan, I want to thank both of you for joining me on the channel today, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot more content to talk about here uh, in the upcoming days leading up to the game. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and we will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.